Yeah. Except you can kind of almost see it, I guess. Not unless it's been active or it hasn't been turned on, probably. surprised this thing just drives really nice. It is such a smooth riding car. It's an all-wheel drive. It's got a 3.3 twin turbo engine. Yeah. 169 top speed horsepower. <laughs> top, top speed, I think they're lying because I'm not going to do 168. <laughs> Only kidding. Never did 168 miles. <laughs> Big Brother actually has a, uh, if, any, if, any, if you go over the speed limit, they actually send a notice to the uh, to, uh, service. Oh. Whenever, because whenever you step on this, okay, I'm going to step on it, just give us a little bit of a taste of the juice. Okay. Whoa! It will throw <laughs> you back in your seat. Holy crap! Okay, and that was just, that was just a touch. Wow! Mm -hmm. Holy crap! Heck, this thing, it feels so much faster than my car. My car is pretty quick. <laughs> this car right here. 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. So it is absolutely. It will get you to where you're going fast. In a amount of time. <laughs> wow. But with this much power comes a lot of responsibility. Oh, yeah. And with it being all wheel drive, you don't have to worry about it, you know, the back end kicking out on you, you know, things like that. Because it is, it's just, a, it is a great performing vehicle. Wow. Definitely the $53,000 was probably worth for it. Well, with the 53, you get the, the GT2, which this is. Yeah. Now, I have a GT1 there. You can always tell the ones that have the 3.3 twin turbo because they have the red uh brakes on them. Yeah. So anytime you look at the wheels, you see their, you know, their red calipers, that's got the 3.3 in it. Yeah. Now even the smaller, you know, single twin or, or single turbo, a great riding car. Yeah. yeah. Ton of ton of power. Woo! <laughs> oh my God, this thing is so much fun. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a nice quiet car too. If, if you actually would turn everything down. Whenever you're yeah, it's really the car, it, it's actually a, it's a nice car. It's really isolated, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, you can hear the engine sound, but <laughs> well, that's what you're supposed. To. That's pretty much it. Yeah, my owner, he actually took this car. He was only supposed to take it for a weekend, and uh, <laughs> the car has automatic shut off. So when you come to lights and things like that, if you're not actually using any power, it'll actually shut the engine and everything down. And yeah. The minute you take your foot off the brake, it starts right back up. Oh my word! So that that's pretty seamless yeah. too. Yeah. It helps with the gas and all that. Yeah, I don't have that on my Tucson. <laughs> I would love to have it, but eh. I can't wait for some of these to come back to be used cars. I, I would love to get one. Oh. You know, I can't afford a $53,000. Oh, yeah. Now, this has a great stereo in it, too. Yeah, I've seen it's Har Harman Kardon. Mm -hmm. It actually has the bass speakers under your butt. Oh, okay. In the front, <laughs> in the front of the... Uh, Put on our air conditioned seats. Oh, that's cool. You got heated seats and air conditioned seats, heated steering wheel. Oh, I can feel that. Oh, my word. That is so nice. I'll take it up here if you want to take some pictures of it from the side. Yeah. One of my friends uh, that I work with, she's looking at the Konas, and okay. I told her it's pretty, it's a pretty good looking car and I mean it's got a lot of technology and the one she's looking for is uh the uh the higher ones. Okay. So I didn't even get to demonstrate the lane keeping. Oh if you boy. actually start to drift off the wheel automatically turn itself. Yeah kinda somewhat autonomous but not very yeah. really autonomous. <laughs> not yet. 
Not yet. There will come a day whenever we no longer drive. <laughs> so. and I think Tesla's on the doorstep of that. <laughs>